Hello Collective and welcome back. Please like and subscribe. Have you ever wondered what healthy practices you should make a habit? We all must give enough time and attention to mental health. What better way than to adopt healthy practices along the way? If you make it a habit, sooner or later it can feel like a part of you. So the healthier practices, the better. Here are 8 healthy practices to improve your mental well-being. Number 1. Practice upright posture. It's time to stretch sure. out those muscles and stand like you mean it. According to a study in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry, upright posture can have a positive effect and reduce fatigue. The preliminary study conclusions suggested that adopting an upright posture may increase positive feelings, lessen fatigue, and reduce self-focus in people with mild to moderate depression. Are you hunched over your computer, phone, or tablet right now? How's your posture looking? Number 2. Practice positive thinking. Research continues to show that thoughts about yourself strongly affect how you feel. The best way to change any negative feelings you may have, is to relieve them with a positive. According to psychologist Patricia Hartenek, when we look at ourselves and our lives negatively, we can end up viewing life in a way that confirms that feeling. Instead, practice using words that create feelings of self-worth and personal strength. So instead of saying, I did terrible on my test today, use positive words and self-value like, I'll work harder on my studying so I can do better on the next test. Number 3. Practice with nature. The best one. Is there anything quite like the green grass under your feet, the blue sky above your head, the warmth of the sun burning your face? Hmm. Forgot the sunblock. A simple walk in nature can have the ability to boost your mental well-being according to research published in the Journal of Positive Psychology. A 2019 study from Canadian researchers found that a mere five minutes of contact with nature in this world improves mood, overall health, increasing self-worth and emotional well-being. According to the research study, results concluded that brief time spent in nature reliably improves both lost and euphoric emotions. Time to take a nice walk in the park with your pet. Of course don't forget to bring the sunblock. Number 4. Practice giving hugs. Sometimes we just need a hug. Usually that's what parents once told you, and usually they are right. This time for sure. According to findings from a 2011 study conducted by UCLA, the oxytocin's receptor gene is linked to self-worth and optimism. It is quite often referred to as the love hormone. Surely you can guess what makes the brain release oxytocin. Physical touch like hugs, kisses, snuggles, and cuddles. Hugs are a great way to release this hormone and even increase your self-worth and optimistic views in the process. According to the study, the life scientists identified, for the first time, a particular genes linked to optimism, self-worth, and resilience, believing that you have the power to control your own life. These are three critical resources for coping well with stress and depression. Sounds like a good hug gives a good boost to your mental health and well-being. Number 5. Practice time with pets. Have no one to hug nearby? How about your pet? Don't have a furry friend? Now, might be a good time to rescue one. Still not convinced. A 2019 research study examined the effects on college students who spent 10 minutes with an animal visitation program. Then by examining their brain's cortisol or stress hormone levels, the students' cortisol levels decreased within 10 minutes of petting furry friends. The research article noted a college-based AVP had hands-on petting of furry friends, providing stress relief, if only for a short time. So, when you are out practicing with nature, make sure to bring your pets along with you. Number 6. Practice exercise daily. Exercise is not only important for our physical health but also our mental well-being. Practicing daily exercise releases endorphins which can naturally make us happier, according to an article from Mayo Clinic. Daily exercise, even 5 minutes, can cause your brain to release these feel-good endorphins. Natural brain chemicals like endocannabinoids along with other brain chemicals can enhance your sense of health and well-being. See, that practice with pets in nature really will help. Number 7. Practice proper sleep. You may have heard adults need a solid 8 hours of sleep each day. Well, you certainly heard right. We need a solid sleep to rest and recharge enough energy for the next day. Not getting your 8 hours of sleep every day has been shown to greatly increase your brain's negative chemicals, overall reducing physical and mental health. To make things worse, nearly all subjects diagnosed with depression also suffer from insomnia. According to the Sleep Health Foundation, 
Humans who are dealing with negative emotions may already be suffering from lack of sleep, possibly causing further health problems by not being able to get a full 8 hours sleep. This will not only make you grumpy, it will make you groggy from not getting enough sleep. Long term, this is definitely not the best for your emotional well-being this life. Number 8. Practice with a gratitude diary. Sharing gratitude can work wonders for our mental outlook. According to psychologist Patricia Hartnett, gratitude has been linked to increased happiness, mental health, and improved overall well-being. The research found that the best method to increase feelings of gratitude is to practice with a daily gratitude diary entry or write a daily list. That means each morning, before your exercise, write down something you're grateful for. Does not matter how grand or how simple. Then at the end of your day, when you go to bed for those full 8 hours of sleep, make note of a few more things you appreciate in life before you go to sleep. Hopefully with your snuggly pet by your side. Now, put these practices into your habits. Which one will you try first? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video please click like, subscribe and share with friend, family or anyone in need. Send smiles for Chef Sappho to encourage more content like this. As always thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to Chef Seffo.